this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Ding Liren and Fabiano Caruana. This is a game from Norway chess tournament 2019. Ding Liren had white pieces and he started d4. Fabiano Caruana played knight to f6, g3, e6, bishop to g2, no, not d5, c5, avoiding the Catalan opening. Knight to f3, c takes on d4, white to move. Ding Liren castled kingside, queen to c7, knight takes on d4, a6, b3, d5, c4, d takes on c4, it is white to move. And this is now very interesting moment of the game. The most played moves in this position are knight to a3, queen to c2, b takes on c4, bishop to g5, and knight to d2. But there was a surprise. Ding Liren played bishop to b2, a novelty recommended by Chessable. Caruana spent 25 minutes on his next move. He played c takes on b3. This is a very logical move, isn't it? Queen takes on b3, knight to c6, knight takes on c6, b takes on c6. Bishop takes on f6, damaging the pawn structure. G takes on f6, queen to c3. Bishop to d7, queen takes on f6, rook to g8, knight to c3, rook to g6, queen to f3, bishop to e7, rook from a to c1. The game is quite long and I will not comment on every move. King to f8, knight to e4, bishop to e8, knight to c5, queen to a5, queen to e3, queen takes pawn on a2. And black is a pawn up again. Bishop to e4, rook to g7, rook to c2, queen to a5, rook to b1. White has much better activity with the pieces. Queen to c7, queen to f3, king to g8, rook to b7, queen to d6, bishop to d3, bishop to d8. White. To move, how would you continue? Would you play knight takes on a6, bishop takes on a6, or something else? Ding Liren played knight to e4, attacking the queen. Let's take it back. If knight takes on a6, then perhaps black would play f5. But how about bishop takes on a6? Is this a good move? It is very good for Caruana. He would play queen to d1 check, winning the rook. Back to our game. After bishop to d8, Ding Liren played knight to e4, attacking the queen. Queen to e5, rook to c5, attacking the queen again. Queen to d4. Rook to c4, queen to e5, rook to c5, queen to d4, queen to f4, and now a5, rook to b8, rook takes rook, queen takes rook. Black to move, king to f8. If a4, then knight to d6, and if bishop moves to e7, queen takes on e8. Back to our game. King to f8 was played, knight to d6, king to e7, white to move. How would you continue now? Ding Liren played knight takes on e8, queen takes on c5, knight takes on g7. Black is a piece down, and his only hope is the pass pawn on the a file. Some players with black pieces would resign in this position. Caruana continued with a4, g4, a3, queen to b3, bishop to b6, e3, queen to g5, knight to h5, 
Queen takes g4 check, knight g3, bishop to c5, king to g2. Another way to go was queen to b7 check, and after king to f6, then bishop takes on h7. If pawn is pushed, then queen to b2 check, and after king to e7, queen takes pawn on a2. Back to our game. King to g2 was played h5 threatening h4 h3 attacking the queen queen to g5 king to f1 queen to d5 queen takes on d5 another way to go was bishop to c4 and after queen to f3 h4 back to our game we have queen takes on d5 c takes on d5 white to move what is the best move for white in this position? Should white take the pawn on h5? Or maybe there is another move. Dingleren played bishop to b1 just on time. If knight takes on h5, what happens then? Then a2. And the pawn can't be stopped. Back to our game. Bishop to b1, h4. Knight to e2, f5. Knight to f4, king to f7, bishop to a2, bishop to e7, king to e2, bishop to f6, king to d3, bishop to e5, knight to g2, bishop to f6, knight to e1, bishop to e7, king to c2, king to f6, knight to f3, f4. Black would love to exchange all the pawns naturally and draw the game. Knight takes on h4, f takes on e3, f takes on e3. King to g5, knight to f3 check, king to f5, king to d3, bishop to c5, knight to d4 check, king to e5, knight to f3 check, king to f5, king to e2, king to f6, bishop to b1, e5, bishop to a2, e4, knight to d4, king to e5, knight to b5, bishop to e7, bishop to b3, bishop to c5, h4 this pawn may become dangerous d4 e takes on d4 check bishop takes on d4 knight takes on a3 king to f5 h5 king to g5 defending the pawn king to f4 knight to c4 bishop to g7 bishop to g6 bishop to d4 Knight to d6, e3, knight to f7, bishop to g7, bishop to d3, and in this position, Caruana resigned, h6 is coming. Let's say black plays bishop to f8, and then h6, and now black can delay taking the pawn, but after h7, bishop to f6 is recommended, and after pawn is pushed and promoted to queen, bishop takes queen, knight takes bishop, white would win the pawn on e3. And after that, he would checkmate black in less than 50 moves. And let's go back to that critical position. This is the position. Did Ding Liren watch the chess video and got his inspiration there? I don't know. Maybe he did. To access a free accessible video, please click on the link below. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.